In today's discussion, we will explore how to make someone genuinely miss you, even if they seem indifferent at first. Bruce Lee once stated that the key to immortality is living a life worth remembering. This insightful quote emphasizes the importance of leaving a lasting impression on those around you. Today, I will share five compelling strategies that can help create a sense of longing in someone special, whether you are in a relationship or just beginning to connect. Number one, create distance. The first strategy involves creating a bit of distance. When you stop being constantly available and cease regular communication, it allows the other person to start wondering about your life. People are often drawn to those who are a bit elusive. Imagine her pondering your whereabouts or considering why she hasn't heard from you. This curiosity can lead to an increase in her interest as she begins to wonder about the exciting things you might be doing. By giving her space, you demonstrate that you are self-sufficient and happy on your own, which is an attractive quality. Remember, the more you chase, the less interest she may show. Maintaining a balance of presence and absence is key. Number two, maintain independence. Independence plays a crucial role in fostering attraction. When you are capable of thriving on your own, you convey a sense of strength and confidence. This self-sufficiency shows that your happiness does not depend solely on her presence. By maintaining your own interests and pursuits, you enhance your appeal. When someone recognizes that you have a fulfilling life outside of your interactions with them, they may feel a stronger desire to connect with you. This is an important lesson in emotional resilience as it allows both partners to feel valued and appreciated. Number three, focus on personal growth. Focusing on your own growth is essential. When the other person sees that you are engaged in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, it creates intrigue. Sharing your achievements and enjoyable moments on social media can remind them of the vibrant life you lead. For instance, posting about a recent hiking trip, a book you just finished, or an outing with friends can spark curiosity. When she sees you living your life to the fullest, she may begin to miss the connection you once shared as it becomes clear that you are thriving without her. Number four, encourage emotional reflection. Creating opportunities for emotional reflection can evoke a sense of longing. When someone feels a pang of jealousy, it can serve as a catalyst for deeper emotions. You don't need to explicitly engage with others romantically, Simply sharing moments where you are surrounded by friends or acquaintances can stir her curiosity. It's essential to be mindful of how you present these moments, as subtlety can be key. By showcasing your social life, you create a narrative that encourages her to reconsider the bond you share. Number five, foster positive associations. The final strategy revolves around creating positive associations. Engage in activities she enjoys and incorporate humor into your interactions. Lighthearted jokes or unique nicknames can leave a lasting impact. For instance, if you have a shared interest in a particular TV show, referencing it playfully can evoke fond memories. Every time she encounters that show or the nickname you gave her, she may think of you and the enjoyable moments you've shared. This approach not only strengthens your connection, but also aligns with the principles of creating meaningful relationships built on shared joy. In conclusion, by adopting these strategies, you can enhance your interactions and create a sense of longing in someone special. Remember to focus on your own growth, maintain a degree of distance, and foster positive memories that will leave a lasting impression. It's important to approach these strategies with authenticity and sincerity, ensuring that your connections are based on mutual respect and genuine interest. I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences with these principles. How have they worked for you? What challenges have you faced? Feel free to share your comments below and let's continue this discussion together. Thank you for being part of this journey and remember to embrace a positive approach to life and relationships.